GMS is the premier software solution for ModFlow modeling. This video demonstrates how to create a ModFlow model using the grid approach. The most powerful way to create ModFlow models is using the conceptual model approach, but for simple models, the grid approach can be useful. The diagram in the upper right corner shows the model we want to create. We start by creating a grid and specifying its size, the number of rows, columns, and layers. Then we create a new mod flow simulation and turn on the packages we want to use. We specify the top and bottom elevations for each layer. Now we'll switch to side view and increase the Z magnification. And we'll switch to viewing the first column. We'll select the top two layers of cells by dragging a box with the mouse. Then right click, select properties, and change the eye bound to specified head. Going back to plan view, we can see the symbols showing the specified head cells. If we look at the grid from an oblique view, we can see the symbols along the left side of the grid in the top two layers. Now we'll specify parameters for the LPF package. According to the small diagram in the corner, the hydraulic conductivity is 15 meters per day for the top layer, 0.9 meters per day for layer 2, and 2 meters per day for layer 3. We'll set the vertical anisotropy to 10 for the top layer and 5 for layers 2 and 3. We also change the layer types for layers 2 and 3 to confined layers. Now we'll create the drain in the middle of the grid. We click on the grid cells to select them, then right click to open the Sources and Sinks dialog. Add drain BCs, enter the drain elevations, and assign them all the same conductance. To create wells, we select the cells, open the Sources and Sinks dialog, add well boundary conditions for the selected cells, and enter the same flow rate for all. We switch to viewing layer 2, select two cells, and create wells in them in the same manner. Switch to layer 3 and create one more well. We're about done, so let's run the model checker to see if we have any obvious errors in our model. Notice that GMS warns us that recharge is set to zero, and we indeed forgot to specify recharge. So we'll do that now by opening the recharge package dialog and specifying a constant value for the entire grid. Now we're ready to save the project and run ModFlow. The model finishes quickly GMS reads the solution and contours the head solution. And that's it. With GMS, it's easy to build ModFlow models.